Hey everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is that you may be watching this. So, um, I'm going to take the kids out today and we're going to be doing a little bit of shooting. Um, Faith is going to be shooting um, and reciting, got some new ammo. Uh, she's going to be sighting in her, uh, reciting in her Savage Axis 2. Both of them are 6.5 Creedmoors. Um, You've seen the weapon uh, in some of the videos from last year that Faith was carrying, that's that's her gun. And my boy, Caden, he is, got him a Ruger American Predator, and uh, it's also a 6.5 Creedmoor, um, like I said. So, Caden's is gonna be a fresh break in. Um, Faith has got roughly right around, I wanna say two boxes. So, barrel's pretty close to being dialed. Um, probably another two boxes. Caden, um, his is probably, I want to say is probably going to need um, right around four boxes, kind of what uh, a lot of people say, is anywhere from 80 to 100 rounds when you get like supreme barrel break in. They're flowing really well, slick. You're actually picking up um, anywhere from 50 to 100 feet per second. So that's pretty awesome. Um, right around the 100 round mark usually. Um, but anyway, so uh, I'll give you a quick little view uh, also on the ammunition that we're going to be shooting. Um, so anyway, here we go. All right, so here we go. So here's the Ruger American Predator. It's got a synthetic green stock, drop box magazine. Um, and it's got a, you see that right there? But it's got a threaded barrel with a um, barrel thread cap on it. Uh, I put the... Vortex crossfire um, scope on there. It's the 4 to 12 by 44. Um, and Faith has the exact same scope on hers. Uh, they both got the precision rings on there. Um, they're all torqued down. And this uh, Savage Axis 2 is also a drop box magazine. I actually really like the bolt on, on this gun. Um, and uh, I haven't done a whole lot to them besides just mount them. I'm going to end up polishing the action in this one just because the bolt is a little gritty. Um, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's a... Uh, you can hear the machine marks in there. I don't like that. Um, I like my bolts nice and slick and smooth. So I'll be polishing that one out. Um, and then uh, we'll get it nice and slick. This one's just... A little dry but it's been a year but it's it's a really nice slick smooth bolt um, both of these guns have the adjustable trigger uh, to get to both of them you need to take the stock off get in there and adjust them but anyway not going into that and so what we're going to be shooting is the barnes vortex lr or lrx ammo it's supposed to be a match grade bullet um, these are the 6.5 creedmoor 127 grain lrx boat tail and uh, so that's them. Uh, really good ballistic coefficients, ballistic coefficients on them. And uh, so anyway, that's what we're going to be shooting. Um, good looking bullet. And it's kind of cool. They got you this neat little box that opens up. Gives you kind of a cool view of some ballistic gel and some of the stats on it. The weight retention. These are all copper. Um, massive energy transfer. Anyway, that's the, that's the bullet. Good looking little round right there for these pew pews so anyway uh we're gonna uh get them shooting probably won't, uh get much footage of them shooting i'll just do a couple rounds each um otherwise it's gonna be a really long video so anyway thanks for watching and we'll get at you a little later Alright, so that was uh, Caden shooting his Ruger American Predator 6.5 Creedmoor, 127 grain Barnes, um, the LRX rounds. So <clears throat> these two up here, that was uh, me shooting my same thing. It's the Ruger American Go Wild. Uh, I'll get some more footage of that, but anyway. So those two were off the bore site. That was 
um, his throw. We dialed it all in, and then those were the two, and then uh, those were the last three shots at 100 yards. So pretty awesome. And that was the uh, Ruger American Predator 6.5 Creedmoor, 127 grain barns, LRX at 100 yards with the Vortex Crossfire. Uh, I, um, I believe it's a four and a half to 12 by 42 or 44. I don't remember. Anyway, I did a review on them. Check them out. So anyway, that's those. So pretty awesome. Okay, our Savage Axis two. 6.5 Creedmoor, same bullet, Barnes, 127 grain, LRX. So, these holes right here, our faith shooting at Savage Axis uh, 2 6.5 Creedmoor with the 127 grain Barnes LRX ammo. Pretty awesome. Can't can't complain about that at all, man. All right, guys. So by the video, you could tell um, the these guns shoot really, really well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with them. Uh, Faith's, uh, like I said, she's got more rounds through hers. The barrel's a little more broken in. She's shooting be beautiful little groups. And I can't wait to see what Caden's gun is going to do uh, after, you know, we get a couple more boxes through it. Man, it's they're just going to really, really tighten up. And, I mean, shoot, you can't complain for... Uh, you get, there's a lot of guns that are a heck of a lot more expensive um, by far. Scopes that are a heck of a lot more expensive and the um as you can see faith's gun is i mean that's sub moa it's it's shooting three eighths inch groups i mean amazing amazing for a 600 hundred dollar again same with cadence uh can't complain with that at all his is not even broken it's seven rounds through it basically um and then i had to shoot mine i didn't get much footage of it um but you guys will, you'll, you'll see, I'll kind of point it out a little bit. Um, I was shooting it kind of hard to get footage of it and I didn't take my tripod. So that was that. Um, but anyway, uh, same with mine. I think I put uh, right around a box through mine and the little group up there, you'll see it's kind of got some other groups in there and then uh, kind of got a little stringer there. Um, light was getting kind of dark, but where the targets were, they're kind of shaded. So, um, it is what it is. But anyway, can't wait to see what those guns will do once they uh, get quite a few more rounds through them. It's going to be pretty awesome. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, just kind of gives me a little more encouragement to keep doing videos. And we're getting really close to hunting season. And so I uh, can't wait to, to be going out there in the woods and getting the kids out there and just getting them to experience nature and... Um, the beauty of it and the, the solitude, the quietness, and, and just the blessing of being able to get out there. Um, so yeah, I can't wait. It's coming right around the corner. Archery season's coming up. And then right after that, um, it'll be uh, rifle season. And hopefully uh, I'll be able to get some footage when I head up to Idaho this year. I'm kind of kind of backed up on a few videos that I got coming out, but uh, just stick with me. I'm going to put them out. I got a video that's going to be coming out of the comparison, a little taste test comparison of the Peak Refuel Beef Stroganoff and the Mountain House Beef Stroganoff. So anyway, that'll be coming up. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of backlogged on, on some videos, just haven't had time. I've been working and uh, yeah, just been staying busy. So anyway, thanks. Hope you all have a good one.